Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off the second round of group stage matches. And in this video we're going to do round two for group A. Three matches for you to look forward to and quite important ones. And I'm kind of nervous because we will see Ibuki going up against Team Primal Carnage. Ultimate Dino King against Connor Temple. And myself against Tor, which I think could be a crucial match. So, let's get on with the first matchup. Alrighty then. In this first matchup, we see Ibuki going up against Team Primal Carnage. And up first for Ibuki, we have Azumi Ceratops. Yes, this thing was mightily impressive against Tor in the first matchup. Oh, the minute I want to change the volume. Okay, sorry about that. I want the, up the volume of OBS. I kind of want to lower it again. Sorry. Sorry, people. Sorry, people. Anyway, as for Team Primal Carnage in the blue corner, we have an Alpha Dilophosaurus. Um, this thing actually fared pretty well against, um, what was his name? Connor Temple in the first matchup. But can it defeat Zuni Ceratops? Or will Ibuki continue this strong start? A win here for Ibuki will, well, pretty much guarantee top spot for, a, for another round. A lose, a loss here, and it will give each one of Ultimate Dino King or Connor Temple a chance to go top. And that's a good start from the Dilo, but Counter Blitz is going to be triggered. Ooh, but it's a turn. Ooh, and there's the Counter Blitz gone. Chance missed for Ibuki. Ooh, the Alpha Dilo on top early on, Team Primal Carnage. Another Counter Blitz gets activated though. Ooh, but the Zuni Ceratops will not be needing it as he gets off a crit. Finally, Ibuki striking back against Team Primal Carnage. Ooh, Zuni Ceratops getting another head off. Ooh, quite an even start so far. A good start from the Alpha Dilo for Ibuki pulling back. Back, my friend, to the top. And that is curtains for Alpha Dilo. After a slow start, Ibuki manages to defeat the Alpha Dilo and reduce Team Primal Carnage to two dinosaurs. The second dinosaur being the Proceralophus. And I should mention the reason why Proceralophus is in this team is not because it was in Primal Carnage, it's because it's a grass dinosaur so it can use Egg Attack and Metal Wing, both of which feature dinosaurs that are in Primal Carnage. But, it's only a slight lead for Ibuki, but can they build on it? That's a tie. That's another tie. And Team Primal Carnage taking out Zuni Ceratops with two consecutive ties. And, as for Ibuki's second dinosaur, we have a Pentaceratops. This was the beast that finished Tor off in the first match and secured a bonus point win for Ibuki. Will it be as successful this time, or can Team Primal Carnage fare better? Although in fairness to Tor, she was basically down to Spino when she had to face this thing, so <laughs> give, give her a depth props for that. Ooh, Ibuki might have just stolen this match's momentum. And does have the lead over Team Primal Carnage at the minute. As Electric Charge gets triggered. Well, activated. Oh, I think this is curtains for Procerolophus. As the Pentaceratops gets off a Lightning Spear. Boosted with the extra damage from Electric Charge as well. I think this will be the end of Procerolophus. Yep. And all of a sudden, Team Primal Carnage is down to the last dinosaur. That being Super Ceratosaurus. And things look quite promising for Ibuki to stay top of Group A. Well, it's not a guarantee that they'll stay top if they win. Because either one of Ultimate or Temple could win 3 0 and get 5 points. In which they still go to 8, and Ibuki. Well, as it stands, if Ibuki wins like this, we'll go to 8 as well. So I suppose it's pretty much guaranteed to stay top. A bonus point win. And a bonus point win is so far looking like what Ibuki's going to get. 
Um, yeah, I think I do he's getting a bonus point win. Again. <laughs> oh my goodness, that damage! Well, I, th I think Ibuki's gonna win. Ooh, but the Super Ceratosaurus does get off a hit. A ninja attack coming in along with Tapu Jaradai. Could that be a turning point? And it will be awakening time for Ceratosaurus. Team Primal Carnage, maybe not finished yet. Ooh, a ninja attack and this will kill Pentaceratops. No bonus point for Ibuki this time. And we will get to see their third dino. And that dino being the Super Triceratops. And not much to say here, just just mainly an attacking dino you got. Two heavy hitting lightning moves here. And lightning axe to add extra damage. Well, can Team Primal Carnage continue this in momentum? Or will I boogie finish things off? Oh, it, this makes things interesting. If Super Triceratops' HP goes below half, then that will guarantee a losing bonus point for Primal Carnage if they do get defeated here, which probably is going to happen. Or is it? Or is it going to happen? Well, that will guarantee a losing bonus point to whoever loses this match. Okay, that's twice. What did I keep you on? Three times. So next time will be awakening mode. But I don't think there will be a next time. Ooh, a huge sigh of relief there for my Buki. Because Team Primal Carnage had some real momentum there. Braibuki just managed to snatch a hit and pull away with a win. But Team Primal Carnage, for their efforts, will get a losing bonus point, which could be crucial. So, it's not a guarantee that Ibuki... Well, it pretty much is guaranteed, actually, that Ibuki will be staying top of Group A. Unless Ultimate Dino King or Connor Temple get two bonus points. Right. I'll move up to update the table and move on to the next matchup, which is, as I just said, Connor Temple against Ultimate Dino King. Alrighty then, and up first for Ultimate Dino King in the red corner, we have a Brachylophosaurus. Um, this could be a crucial match here for these two. I mean, both of them were earning respectful wins last time out. And with Ibuki winning earlier... Oh, I honestly forgot to change the RNG to sex. Oh, that didn't sound good. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, as for Connor Temple in the blue corner, we have an Anata Titan. I feel like this first matchup could be important because it's two grass dinosaurs, but ultimate second dinosaur is an earth dinosaur. Which will be at the disadvantage to Anata Titan should Anata Titan kill Brachylophosaurus. Ooh, that's a strong start from Anata Titan. Uh, why, why is the sound playing up? Um, I, I'm sorry, I have no clue why the sound is playing up, so... Tough. Okay, that's a tie. The move breaker there. Nullifying that rock move of Anata Titans. Ooh, but Brachylophosaurus does strike back. Not too much damage dealt. Oop, that's a tie. That means the paper move on the Nata Titans is going bye bye, but the tie recovery effect there. Ooh, another hit from the Brachylophosaurus. Ultimate in the slight, that's quite the lead so far. Ooh, I think this is the end of a Nata Titan. Yep, that's a Nata Titan going down. Good star from Ultimate Dino King. Anyway, up next for Connor Temple, we have the Giganonosaurus. This beast in Temple's first match was pretty much the reason why he won. I mean, it swung the battle in his favour. 
with a big well timed magma blaster. But I, I don't know I'm so I'm sorry the sound is glitching. I don't know why it's doing it. It seems to just do it when it wants to do it. <laughs> anyway. Back to the match, Ultimate Dino King in the lead. But how long will that last? Well, not long with a rate of that crit. Oh, but yeah, that's terrible. Um, I don't know if that'll carry over. I probably won't. Anyway, as for Ultimate Dino King's second Dino, we shall have a Super Talarurus. It's pretty well in the first match up against me. Me. <laughs> and it seems to be a staple for him. Oh, I, I, again, I, I am sorry about the sound. It's, I don't know what it, what it is. It doesn't usually do this. Anyway. Ooh, the Giganonosaurus getting off a firebomb. And I think Connor Temple might have just snatched this match's momentum. Okay, so wait mood on three. Just once. Ooh, another firebomb. Temple on top now. Ultimate Dino King, not looking as good as he did in the beginning of the match. Twice. Tie. Ooh, that's another tie. Oh, the Talarur is getting off a Quake Saber and a tiebreaker. Could this be what Ultimate needed? Lots of damage done and an Earth Barrier, which will not help in the slightest. But it is awakening time. Big moment of the match this could be. Oh, and it's the kick again. <laughs> yeah, no surprise to see Talaroa is dead. Ooh, could that be crucial? Anyway, up next for the Dino Kings, we have Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Uh, interestingly enough, as I said in the last match, no fire fire moves, which, well, will pay off in this matchup if he goes on to face Connor Temple's next dinosaur, because it's a water dinosaur. Oh, oh, buddy, yeah, come on, emulator, work for me, work for me. Okay, that should be Giga dead. Yeah, and it's Night Night Giganonosaurus. On to Temple's third dinosaur, and our dinosaur being the Spinotector. <laughs> uh, did we see this guy? I think, yeah, we just saw this guy. He pretty much finished off Team Primal Carnage. So we didn't see too much of it. Ooh, this is quite a close match so far, as I expected. You know, Ultimate had the lead, but then Connor Temple pulled it back. And now Connor Temple does have a very sweet lead. Ooh. Oh, but it's Dino Stuffer stopping that crit. No crit for Connor Temple, but the bar at the bottom will fill up a bit. So it's not a total loss. Ooh, Spino getting the first hit. Not too much damage dealt. Ooh, but the Acrocampasaurus striking back with a light recovery and an attack boost. Could that be key? Oh, that's a tie. That's another tie, and that bar's gonna fill up. I think we're gonna see Dino Tacta. Ooh, or are we? Ooh, the Spino Tector hanging on by a thread. Oh, 
has he stolen the match? Has Connor Temple stolen the match? I think Connor Temple might have just snatched this match. As is Dino Tector time. Has Connor Temple just snatched this match away from Ultimate Dino King? I think he might have just snatched it. Okay, so Spiny will be going for Paper. Oh, yes! Ultimate Dino King on the brink of a win has ended up losing to the Spike to Connor Temple. I think a regular attack would have killed him anyway. Well, it's a good win for Connor Temple, but it's not the end of the world for Ultimate because he will get a losing bonus point. And well we don't well you never know how crucial that could be. Right. Now on to the next match, the one which I'm bricking myself for. Well, no more putting it off now, it's me against Tor, and this is quite a big match. Anyway, up first for me, we have Alpha Catalosaurus. And well, it, it fared pretty well last time. It took out the Brachylophosaurus. So I have high hopes for it. But it's going to be tough because in the blue corner, we have another Alpha Dinosaur, the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. And this guy definitely didn't fare too well in Tor's first match. They got easily defeated by Zuniceratops. So, so maybe I might have a chance, but oof, <laughs> I hope I can win this match. If I don't win this match, like I'm in big trouble here if I don't win this, this match. And this is an opponent I've lost to before, and I've lost twice before. And oh my god, it's not a good start, is it? The Alpha Acro getting the first hit, but not too much damage dealt, but there's the poison. And what's this? Volcano Burst. Well, that's not a good start, is it? <laughs> Watch this be a paper now. No, I, 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 I'm gonna lose this match. I'm just giving up. Can I just wave the white flag? Like, this is freaking ridiculous. Well, my next dinosaur is probably gonna die again. Um, well, watch out for me, Fly, yay. <laughs> um, I have a feeling I'm going to lose this match again. Right, can I at least get one hit? That's all I ask for, is one hit. Nope, that's a tie. Okay, at least I dealt damage to the acro, at least I dealt damage to it. Oh, for God's sake. What is this guy's technique? He's getting volcano burst off every time. Like, this is rubbish. That's a rubbish. Acrocanthosaurus has 300 technique. It's rubbish. Oh, fine. I got a hit. Yeah, my cub. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I'm just waving the white flag here. Yeah, I'm just surrendering. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I, I, I can't, like, it literally gets the poison. It gets Volcano Burst off. Like, freaking Megaraptor has more technique than a stupid Acro. And do I get Cyclone off? Do I get Dino Illusion off? No. Rubbish. I do rubbish. Oh, finally, a Cyclone! Well, I'm getting hit, but... Yeah, not doing any damage. But I need a freaking Mayfly. Okay, again, another hit. Okay, I'm slowly wearing down Alpha Acro's health. Not doing too bad. Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, 
Alright, as for my third dino, which will have a chance to beat this stupid Alpha Acro with the Super Baryonyx. Gonna have to earn your dough, yeah, sunshine. Yeah, this is a joke of the pack. This thing's gonna kill that stupid Alpha Acro Campasaurus. That's the only thing I do this match. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Ocean Panic. <laughs> Nighty night, Alpha Acro, because you're going to die. Even if this Ocean Panic doesn't kill you, the tie next round will. Okay, that's once. Right, that means I'll be going scissors. And Tor will also be going scissors. And that is Night Night Alpha Acro. Right, as for Tor's second dinosaur, we have the Verisiosaurus. The dinosaur that will probably finish off my Barry. Um, not much to say here. I mean, the Claw Blade would be, well, it'll probably kill me in one hit, let's be honest. Okay, so I've got one, so I need three more, and then I can do a Wigan Mode. Oh, oh, Tor getting the customary first hit. Ooh, ooh, I got a hit. Come on, Barry, you can do this. Okay, one more, and then it's awakened time. Ooh, ooh, we got a softening beam. <laughs> And next round, I'll be waking up. Ooh, a shockwave. Ooh, could I be coming back? Because it's wakey time. And I'll be going scissors. Hehehehe. <laughs> I'm coming back. Okay, as for Tor's last dinosaur, which I didn't expect to see this match, we have a Spinosaurus. This guy was pretty much mincemeated by the lightning dinosaurs last round. I put up kind of a fight, I guess. Okay, Super Barry, can you do this? No, you can't, because your health is going to get halved, and yeah. Ooh, we're getting a softening beam. Could I do this? No, I'm not getting my hopes. I'm not getting my hopes. Up. I've seen this before. Get her elf down to bed and then she'll get a hit and I'll lose. Give me a shockwave. Oh. At least I won't be hit next round. Well, I'll take tide damage, but that's it. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting a bonus point. I'm getting a losing bonus point at the very least. Nah, this is, you know where this is going to end. Oh. <laughs> that makes things interesting. Oh my god, I won! Um, well, I don't know how I won, but I won. I'm um, sorry, Tor, but I won. <laughs> what a victory! <laughs> okay, that was match of the tournament, 100%. I enjoyed that. Like, honestly, the Alpha Acro literally took no damage as it killed Mega Raptor and Buddy Chasmosaurus. But my Super Barry, the Joker of the pack, took him out. Right, I'll update the table and we'll end the session. Alright, that's how Group A looks. Well, we have Ibuki up top with seven points after two wins. Then Connor Temple with also two wins, but with only six points. Then we have Ultimate Dino King. Despite losing against Connor Temple, did get a losing bonus point, so he's on, so he's on four points. And then we have me. After winning, somehow, I got three points. And then Tor got a losing bonus point, because my 
Baryonyx's health was below half. So on one point, and then Team Primal Carnage still on one point. So I hope you enjoyed these matches. And well, stay tuned for next time where we'll move on to Group B.